Right, uh, this is just a good opportunity just to show you uh, how to remove a 17 inch tyre off this off a Nissan Patrol GU rim. Uh, to remove the tyre, when these aren't um, deep dish in the well, uh, steel wheels are easy to remove the tyres. I'll show you how I do it on these. Uh, probably a good time to remove it because I've got this massive, massive hump here, bubble. So it's nearly the size of your, well, half the size of your fist. So trying to throw this tyre out anyway, so we'll rip it off. Uh, the only thing I'm going to do different on this, I'll just use soapy water as a bit of lubricant. I'm not going to waste any tyre lube on it. And I'll show you uh, how I set up my jack to break the bead. Right, to uh, break the bead, uh, what I've got is I've just got an adapter plate, which has got a slight uh, curve in it to match the profile of the rim. You know, this is for the 17 inch rim but it will fit any sort of rim and that's to get in close into the rim and the tyre because that's where you want to put the pressure on same as an uh, industrial type machine and what this does it just bolts onto the bottom of a high lift jack and that gives all the force to the inner part of the bead uh, when, you, when you want to remove the, uh, the bead off the rim so the jack will sit under the uh, bull bar and I'll set that up in a second so for the bracket we turn that around the other way. So I'll just bolt that on. Okay, when you bolt this on you don't have to bolt it on tight. You've just got to sit there. I mean everything's going to move around. You've got movement in the head. So it's always still a bit of mucking about. But that's going to be our pressure point uh, when we set the jack up. So we'll uh, turn the tyre around under the front of the bumper. Uh, we'll take the valve out and then we'll set this up to break the first bead. Now just when you're taking your, your tyre off and you're, you're removing it, you want to get the tyre eventually into the, the deepest part of the well. So on these Nissan wheels, the deepest part of the well is on the front side of the, on the outer side of the rim, out this side and not in this side, but we're going to break both sides anyway. On a steel rim you've generally got a, a greater well, which is even on both sides. That's why they're easier to remove than these ones. Okay, so this tyre's been on this rim for about seven years maybe, a bit, maybe a bit longer, seven or eight years. Um, so it was wearing out anyway. I had to replace it because I had to replace another one. And obviously it's got that big bulge. So I just set the jack up. Set up the, uh, the plate near the inner part of the bead. Uh, and just set up to a jacking point, whatever the jacking point is on your on your car. And as this tie's been on for a long time, I'll just put a bit of soapy water, you know, just to help any release. And we'll start uh, cranking. So as I say, about seven years that's been on and that uh, breaks really easy. Now we'll just flip it over and we'll break the other side. Now this side I don't expect to break down like the other side because it's got no well to go into so I'll probably give it two goes just to give it a push down. I'm not too fast how much this breaks. And you can see by the tool it's pushing closer to the inner part. It's not like when you normally put uh, people try and just put a high lift jack and they just squash the tyre. Because all they can do is stretch the tyre, which makes it actually stick harder on the opposite side. We're just trying to break the, 
nem, nem jó pénz. Okay, so we just come on the inside. You see, uh, these tyres have got a, like a double rim, so I'm going to put my finger in there. But it's got a small ridge, which is that ridge, that ridge in there, which helps the tyre um, bead on. So we're past that. We've broken, we've broken the bead. As I say, it's got no well in it, so it just doesn't want to go down any further. I'll just quickly put a tyre lever on it and see if I can just get it to drop a bit. Going from that side. And it's off that side. I'm not going to worry about the rest because I've got to put a block under it to get the rest off. That's the easy part. Now, if you're in the um, if you're in the bush and you just wanted to say put a, a tube in, I know it's a tubeless tie, but say it's so badly damaged you want to put a tube in, you actually don't need to break that back side. You just do the front, and you can just remove the front and pull it out. Or alternatively, if you um, your hole was too big and you wanted to put a pull through plug in, that's what I normally carry instead of just the um, the plugs. I'll put a, I'll actually rip it off put a proper patch on even in the bush. Um, same thing, you just got to take your front side off and um, then you can get inside and do what you've got to do with the tyre. So, uh, most of the time you can just do this with uh, two tyre plies. I've got a third one which I carry in the motorbike as well so I'll just have that just in case. So I've got a 400mm, the 500mm, that's just for size. You can have two fours or two fives. The fives are probably the best. If you don't have good tyre plies um, Get a good brand, not um, rubbishy steel that bends. And this one's got a bit of a bend in it. Um, so I, I get Chia Door, which are a good brand if you can buy the proper Chia Door stuff. Um, this one's a no, no brand, it's just a 15 inch, so it's probably 350 mil. So that's what I use. For rim protection for the alloy rims, I'll just use the rim protectors I use on my motorbike. and. Then I use a little bit of plastic, which is actually just off a flour, plastic fl uh, cooking flour container, which is nice and strong. And I use that on the motorbike, the same thing, just to protect the rims. I mean, I don't get too fast because I do ride the thing. So, um, yeah, so we'll just get into now starting to take this tyre off. Again, just I'll just be using just soapy water as a, a lubricant. That's all I should need, hopefully. And I'll get into it. Okay, so... The trick to anything when you're doing the tyre is, is getting the opposite side into the well. So as I say, the well in here is up on the top top section. So it's keeping, keep, as if I'm levering this side, it's keeping this side up in that well. So that's that's the mission. So it's a hot day, so this is going to dry up pretty quick, so I'll just keep moisturing it. So. So like anything, it's just taking uh, uh, little bites.
same thing, just keeping the wheel well down on the other side. That's our first first side off. So pretty quick, pretty easy. Second side's a little bit trickier, but um, we've broken the bead, so and we've got that part done now. So now what we're going to do is try and lever off off the back. We at the front. So we need to get that um, bottom of the tyre sitting in the well, and we need to start levering this. This is where it gets a bit of a wrestle if you've got to take the whole wheel off. But normally, as I say, if you're doing it in the bush and you're just doing a fix, you do all your fixes now in your tyre. As I say on steel rims, it'll just pop off. But um, let's give this a go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the uh, rim out of the tyre. Um, to assist us, uh, we're going to have a block of wood that we're going to put under the uh, under the rim to hold it up at the back. I'll show you what that's for. And we'll just go with three tyre pliers. Um, Traditionally, I'll put the block under first to show you how we hold the wheel up and what we're doing there. So that's just to hold the back the back up for us. So we've got the, uh, the bead of the tyre sitting in the back of that rim, just, just to give it a bit of assistance. Obviously, if you're in the, um, if you're in the bush, just cut a piece of wood or shove something under there. Or you can have someone hold it up the back if you want, but it's easy to put something under. We'll try and get away with just using the uh, 400 and 500 mil uh, tyre pliers. But I've got the third just in case. Uh, traditionally, when when you start peeling the tyre off, what happens is you, people can always try and get it in, peel that off, try and get that in, peel that off. The problem is it's so tight, you won't have enough room to get it in the bead, and these are too long to do that. So we'll be coming in with the technique where we have the curved part of the tyre plier. So the curved part will come down, and that will eventually sit under the tyre, and we'll use that to twist and then pull. So the first part's always a little bit fiddly getting the first first one in, but um, so just bear with me as I get that one in. As you can see, we got the first one in. I'm going to bring the camera in a little bit closer now, and uh, I'll start showing you how I'm going to manoeuvre the, the levers. Okay, so there may be a few few camera angles. So as you see, we got probably about uh, six inches of the tyre on the first pinch open. Um, I'm going to just switch over to the smaller lever for a second. I'll just replace the big one with the second small one. And that's just to hold it. Um, if you've got two people. I can just put some downward pressure on this one to keep it down. Uh, we're going to just try and get that to about 12 inches just with the tie pliers and that's, that should work okay. If you're struggling to get that off, what you can do is with the tie plier, you can actually put it in between the tyre and give it a bit of sideways pressure and that also helps. But um, So I'll bring the camera in a bit closer again. So I'm now working, working around the camera. As I say, we've still got our first pinch on. Okay, so I need to, need to hold that. Stumble a bit. So with our tyre plier, we stick our second one underneath. Then we pull it up. And then we lift. Okay, so we've got that one. Now that's going to spring back, obviously. So we'll just put our third tie plier and just to hold that for a second and then we'll just hold that there's our first one again we slide it under the tyre 
Try and move my hand so you can see. So we slide it under the tyre and pass the rim. And pop it up. Now the tyre is sitting up, we've got probably 10 inches. I'll just move that second one again once more. Just get a bit more lube. And I'll bring the camera around one more time. Same thing. A lot of tie plier. Now this one, same thing. Just work it under. Okay, so it's under the tire, around the rim. Now this one might slip out. Just move again. Okay, so we now got. Uh, Probably about uh, 400 mils to tire out, and now we'll go for our last last one again. Okay, same thing. You know, I said a lie before. I said we hold the curve down. We actually hold the curve up. Sorry, hold the curve up, not down. Same thing. Work it under. Straighten it up. Okay. Realistically the tyre should nearly hold itself in place now, we don't need to hold any of the levers anymore and we probably just get this last one in and that might be enough to get us off. And that's it, that's our tyre out. So you see, uh, you know, the, the technique is quite simple, it's quite quick, you know, it's not much of a struggle really, so as long as you understand what you're doing, uh, you could get away with just two tie plies, maybe a screwdriver, a big screwdriver, if you don't have three, um, or just buy three. The third one can be a cheap one, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then you do whatever you're going to do with your tie, throw it out, replace it, fix it. You know, clean out the beads if that's what you're going to do, if it's been that, that bad or if it's full of mud, take it off and wash it and stick it back on. Okay, so the, um, the adapter plate is just uh, two bits of 8mm you know, uh, steel, just my old steel, just welded together. And so it's just got a curve, you can hammer that in, you know, I just sit it on a press just to make the shape of the rim. Weld it on and just some mounting hole bolts just to fit on the base of your high lift jack. We've also got an adapter that if I don't have the high lift jack and the Nissan this bolts onto the back and it's got a recess and that'll clip into the um, the Nissan hydraulic jack so I can just use that and then just put it under the um, rear tow bar as a pressure point. But that, that's all it is, that's the tool and it's quite simple.